Barely two days after Kanu picked an acting chairperson in a move that has widely been seen as a first step towards sorting out the issues that have been brought about by the leadership tussles within the party, Kenya's oldest political party finds itself in problems again. Sources within the party headquarters revealed that immediately after the party held its national delegates conference on Saturday, Party Secretary General Nick Salat allegedly issued a warning to employees working within the party headquarters, accusing them of being allies of former party chairman Uhuru Kenyatta. Today, seven out of the nine members of staff who work at the party headquarters chose to resign from the party accusing the new regime of tribalism. Their collective decision to resign was arrived at after a senior official called the party receptionist at the headquarters and ordered her to instruct certain officials to vacate office with immediate effect, citing a change in regime. The problem is further compounded by a red debt that has been in arrears for the last quarter, with a landlord who has been threatening to lock up the party's headquarters. This latest twist to events at the country's oldest political party only serves to illustrate its changing fortunes as it slowly but steadily fades after attracting the occasional headlines for all the wrong reasons in an era of intense political competition. For Newsnight, I'm Shem Oluchiri.